Okay, we're going to show two methods of applying capillary film. One is the spray gun method and one is the roll down method. The spray gun method is my preferred method. It is the best and easiest way to apply capillary film. So what is capillary film? Capillary film is basically an emulsion that is coated by the manufacturer on a polyester carrier, like this. It is coated to a specific thickness to be used with a specific mesh count. Basically, there are three types of capillary film on the market. A diazo base, a dual cure, and a photopolymer. They all get applied to the screen exactly the same. Traditionally, these products are used in the graphics and the electronics market. However, they will work just as well in the textile market. A lot of textile printers think that using a capillary film is difficult. Believe it or not, it is easier to learn to use a capillary film than it is a direct emulsion. Now what I'm going to do is show you two ways of applying this capillary film. Most important thing, believe it or not, in screen making is when you're using capillary film is you have to have a clean screen. So it's important that you use a degreaser after you reclaim your screen. The degreaser is going to remove any of the chemical that may be on here that you can't see. For example, say you got a fingerprint, put fingerprints on there. The oils from your hand are going to transfer that. And believe it or not, that can affect how the capillary film sticks to the screen. The cleaner, the better. The most important thing at this point is you have to have dry hands. If your hands are wet, guaranteed the film's going to stick to you and not to the screen. So I'm going to dry my hands really good. The first method is called the roll down method. Now again, the roll down method, you must have dry hands. Now the film is pretty easy to tell what side is what. The shiny side for quick film is the emulsion side. The dull side is the polyester side. Now here's the hard part. You don't want to create any dents, so you roll it carefully with a nice dry hand. Just roll it up. And I like to roll it pretty tight. It gives me more control. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, with a nice dry hand. Now I take, I just want to put a light spray of water on here. I take this film, dry hands again, it's important, and you just touch it to the top of the screen, hold it there just a second, and then just carefully let it unroll itself. Okay. Now, what you do is you turn it around and see if you see any air bubbles or anything. Now, this looks pretty good. This is where a squeegee comes in handy. A window squeegee works just fine. Not a, not a screen print squeegee, but a window squeegee. And you just go like this. That's it. Important thing here. You don't have to squeegee this side. What I'm doing, I'm just removing excess water from the screen. If I squeegee this side, what's going to happen is it's going to actually, the squeegee is going to push the film all the way through the mesh. You don't want that. You want to have, again, EOM that I talk about often is that you want to have emulsion over the mesh and you want it on the print side. So you let it be like this. Do not squeegee that side, just this side. If there are air bubbles, all you have to do is wet your finger, which is pretty easy right now because your hands are all wet, and just touch that spot with your finger like that. And that draws the film into the mesh right at that spot. This is your print here. If you've got an air bubble in this area, it might be a problem. And one of the reasons you may get air bubbles, by the way, is your mesh may not be tight enough. You've got to have properly tensioned mesh. If it's real floppy mesh or whatever, you may have some issues. Capillary film demands that you do it right. Okay, the second method we use for applying capillary film is called the spray gun method. There are different types of spray guns you can use. You can use what I consider good or okay, which is just your regular sprayer. Or you can use a pressurized one. This one's a little bit better. You just pump it up. It hits a nice fine mist. It's important that you have a fine mist. If it sprays out in blobs of little droplets of water, that's like too much water. Or it can use the best, which is one of these. You can get these at almost any hardware store, wherever. 
they're not expensive. The, probably the biggest drawback of this is you have to have an air compressor to have it work. Uh, air pressure for this should be about 40 pounds of air pressure. Any more than just too much pressure. The nice thing I like about this method uh, is the fact that my hands are going to stay dry. I don't have to worry about rolling the film up or anything. I can just apply the film. And I'll show you what I mean. The first step is you take your spray gun. I consider this the best method of the three. I find this. And I put a nice, what I call a tack coat on. There's hardly any water on there. Just a nice light tack coat. I take the film. Again, you don't want to dent it. You just sort of spread it out. Now the tack coat is just barely holding this film in place. Now if you look at this side, it doesn't look too good. Doesn't matter, but that tack coat is just holding it in place. As a matter of fact, I can actually peel it off and reposition it if I want. So the tack coat is holding it. Now, with a spray gun set at about 20 pounds of air pressure, I just put a spray coat on, and you can actually see the, the film getting drawn into the mesh. is again take your window squeegee and squeegee the excess water off. It's so easy, perfect screen. You've applied just enough water so it's not going to get sunk into the mesh too far. Remember capillary film gets drawn into the mesh anywhere from uh, 75 to 25 percent. The more water you get the farther that emulsion is going to be drawn into the mesh. The spray gun method is putting in, it's sinking in maybe about 25%. This is the way to go. This is so much easier than the roll down method. By the way, roll down method works very well. This is just easier. And this is my favorite way. Think about capillary film. It can be dried any way you want. Squeegee side up, squeegee side down. Horizontal, vertical, whatever, it does not matter because it's the polyester is holding the film in place. How can you tell when a capillary film is dry? It's actually pretty easy. See, it's been in the dryer, you say, for 10, 15 minutes. Well, how do you know? I mean, it looks dry. You can touch it. It feels dry. But the fact is, you won't know until you can remove the polyester carrier. Listen, if you can hear this. See that? Watch when I set it back down. Look at that. Can you see that? It's actually re-wetting. This film is not dry yet. When a film is dry, you can pull this polyester carrier off nice and easy. If it makes a noise like this did, or is difficult to remove, it's not dry. If you try to get this film off, or this polyester carrier off, you may damage the film. You must do it correctly. Make sure it's dry. This is not dry. So I'll put this back in my dryer and dry a little bit more. Okay, this has been in the dryer for a little while. I already picked on the side here, but you can see this. Look at this. Remember, first one I did where it made all sorts of noise and I could actually push like that and you can actually see the marks where it's re-wetting. Well, this, look at this. Beautiful. Not a pinhole, perfectly flat. This is the way capillary film is supposed to be, nice and flat. No pinholes. That's the one big advantage of capillary, one of the many advantages of capillary film, no pinholes. Perfect coating every time.